Hey, Turtle Club, good morning. How's everything going? Hope you're all having a good day this Sunday morning. I'm having a, a pretty fun time playing Ark Survival Evolved myself. Uh, for those that are curious, I am Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming CTG Studios, it is. And uh, we are playing on our community server. That is for members of the community who've been here in good standing for at least at least a, a good little bit to the very least and we are we are in the middle of shenanigans um, so one of the things that we are still exploring in this particular playthrough that we're doing is all of the things that all these mods have to offer and one of those things is and I, I I'm not making this up. Um, there's been some utility added to the commode in in Arc, and this is the N plus commode, and it is um, we're making a bathroom. There, there's no there's no two bones about it. You know, when you have when you have certain things, you sort of you sort of get ornery and you do things about it, right? And the N plus toilet actually has a secondary feature, and that is if you were to take raw meat and place it in this thing, it'll spoil it faster. And if you should so really put forth an effort to spoil it, uh, well, it will spoil things a lot. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things that we decided that we were going to do with that little tidbit of information, as it were, is we are going to a location for us to be able to do that a lot. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, we were looking at all sorts of all other options, and when this came up, I was like, oh, wait a second, spoils raw meat quickly, and pooping will instantly spoil all meat. It snaps to internal pipes, it can all be crafted at a station, it takes a, a pretty, pretty decent amount of materials. Hey, McAdoo, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I believe we have... Uh, yeah, I believe we've, we've solved the, the spoiled meat problem on this server without even adding a mod. There's actually um, a, a component already in it that will do what we were looking to do. So looking forward and looking, uh, looking good about that, I think. Uh, let's draw this out. So, um, we had a, we found out what was causing our problems last week. It was actually our motherboard was starting to go bad with the, well, go bad's a little excessive, but what it was is that the motherboard had not been updated properly in a long time, and it just fell behind, apparently. So, uh, cool. yeah, yeah, uh, I, I didn't know myself, but now we have, now we have this little, this little outhouse built. Um, so, you know, for what that's worth, um, once we can, once we can test it, we'll be able to really know for certain that it works that way. But I was looking over it because I remember thinking to myself, you know, someone had told me something about one of the mods I had looked at and I thought that's just too great. And so I did a little digging around and that's what I had discovered. So let's just shove all this in the box. I, uh, you know what we do? We could probably go into our reward menu and go to weekly supply drops, weekly food drops. Uh, it's all cooked meat. You know, we definitely need a better way to get raw meat other than flailing about and hoping they don't like bash us over the head. So that's that's a good start. Um, anything in here? More spoiled meat. All right. So so for those that have been watching this ser this server evolve with us over the time that we've been playing, um, there has been a lot done since the last time we looked up, and the reason why is because I. Uh, I made some really bad discoveries, as we were talking about on the last stream, and just really never got a chance to show off anything that we had done. And basically, 
what had happened is we had a mythical, that's the terminology they use for it in this uh, our Omega mod, a mythical tier dino spawn outside of our base. And I'm all for cool stuff like that. I love neat stuff like that. You know, that, that that's one of the reasons why we play mods like this. It's like, oh, cool, something really awesome and just unexpected is happening at my base. And in this particular case, though, we had what was called a companion dino. And what those do is they a thousand percent spawn with another dino in tow. And I am looking for... I don't know what I'm looking for. I got my tools. I, I have my weapon. I think I'm looking for a rifle. I, I know I've put it somewhere. I just gotta find it. Um, so, so companion dinos, what they do is when you mess with them, when you aggro them, when they become aggroed on you, whenever anything happens like that, they actually have a, a paired dino that comes to aid them. You know, kind of like having a best friend. And in this particular case, this was a Dilophosaur, and its best friend, <laughs> we shall call it that, we shall call it like Gregory, I guess, or something. Uh, its best friend, wow, I do not know where I've stuffed all of those things at. Oh, this is probably like a whole lot of spoil. Nope, just a whole lot of gas. Um, so, Gregory, uh, the buddy for this wonderful Dilophosaur, shows up, and he is a very, very impressive specimen of a please don't hurt me, Mr. Gregory. I didn't mean anything by it. Rock golem. And one thing that we did not know, because we normally don't have rock golems like walking up to our base and asking to be pet and saying, hey man, uh, can you spare a dime? That kind of stuff. Uh, one thing that we did not know about rock golems is, lo and behold, uh, well, I guess we'll just go with the bow for now since we can't find our gun, is that rock golems will destroy stone structures. And we had spent, ah, I don't want to say it was a very long time, but it was long enough to where it was frustrating when it happened. Um, it had destroyed most of our external part of our base just by like lobbing one brick. And I was like, oh, well that's not good at all. We had, we just got totally wrecked. It wasn't even, it wasn't even like five, six minutes. And then boom, just completely decimating our base. It sounds like something else is doing that over this way, so let's go take a look. So while while that was going on, we basically um, had to run away, and after running away, um, just had to find other things we could do to survive. And we're still not done with this base design at all. But this is this is pretty egregious. I mean, I. Uh, I've built some pretty nasty bases. I, I won't lie, right? I mean, we've we've done we've done the complex in the um, Ragnaroker server. We've done the impregnable fortress from the um, brutal arc server, right? Whoa, okay. This thing looks like it is a problem. I don't know whose problem it is, though. A wild female beta colossus roll rat. That, 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 that is... Those are words. Those are English words that are all roped together. A Gorgon Featherlight, we know we don't want to mess with that. A Cloner Moss Chops. A Brutal Parasaur, well, that's not the Brutal Dino that, that we're thinking of, but it, it's it's close enough. Alright.
And, you know, the downside of this thing is it's not... Oh, whoa, actually it is. It's a thousand percent putting gems out there. Hi. You are awfully big. Good great googly mooglies. I, I... I... Wow. Wow. Okay. This is why we play this mod. This is a thousand percent why we play this mod because we honestly realistically look at this thing like I don't even know what to do to tame this thing so it's a beta colossus so let's go let's go into our base I don't know what we do to tame it, but I know that something that giant, that ginormous, I want to tame it. So we're going to hit the F1 button. And in here we're going to go to progression guide. And... No, getting no, calculators maybe? No, variants. Variants. Here we go. So we are looking for... Probably, I mean, that's pretty nightmarish to me, but nope, okay. Uh, Guardian, maybe? So we're looking for Beta, and we're looking for Colossus. So Colossus. Okay, so here's the Colossus thing. And this is what I like about this mod, is we have these things available to us here. So the important thing, though, to, to realize is this is a mythical. So the way this will work is on the progression guide, it doesn't tell us anything. But I know there is. Well, not, now that we know that's with the goal. Now that we know that's mythical, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, we had our her first hate speech report. Wow. That didn't take it all at all, did it? It's unfortunate. You know what's great though? Is the the great part about that is if we are getting hate speech in our channel, that normally means that our channel is being promoted somewhere for someone to be able to find us like that, right? Alright, so we're looking for beta. And we're looking for mythical. So we need beta essences, cooked meat, mejos, a mythical egg, and a mythical soul. So the question is, do we have any of that? We're missing the egg, and we're missing the meat. Wow. So we're close to that. We're close to that. So if we had a way to reliably get a mythical egg, we would be able to tame this creature out there. So the question is, can we find an egg? Don't know if we can or not. But we can look, right? Oh, is this an egg? None of those are eggs, and we're not going to touch any of those. Because we know that's... At least it's friendly. Yes, this is very true. At least this particular nastiness is friendly. That's the Gorgon Featherlight. We know we don't want to mess with that. That's the Brutal Parasaur. So we know that the Gorgon Featherlight could absolutely lay an egg. If it's if it's female. Is it female though? It's female. Alright, so I think the Gorgon does count as mythical.
Was that a scout over there that I saw? Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. Man, this this mod messes with you so much because it's a question of. Is it a copy? That's a companion. Oh my gosh. That's a companion dino. The last companion dino that I attacked did not go well for me. It's a siren, also. Alright. So there's not much we can do for that. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Oh. Alright, so. We're gonna leave that brutal, brutal bee. So let's go to the other side of the base. Eventually, we're gonna find where the fungal wood is, and we're gonna be able to like make zip lines and stuff to get around this a lot easier. But for now, we're just dealing with this. Wow, there's some uh, there's some pretty bad stuff over there. Not gonna lie, there's some pretty bad stuff over there. That is, hey, more hate speech. Awesome. A stalker and a zombie Pelagorni. Well, we definitely don't want to mess with those at all. Alright, let's get away from that. Another brutal, but it's not a bad brutal, technically. A wood parasaur. And just a regular old dodo. Is that another scout? Nope, that's a fairy trilobite. Oh my gosh. Be great if. If those would lay eggs. Because it would be okay. Metal Brontosaurus, wow. Well, and unfortunately it looks like at the moment we're not going to be finding any mythicals to be able to tame that with. Hmm. And that's an aggressive. Vampire dodo, oh my gosh. No desire to mess with that either. Coming through here in the dark, probably not our brightest moment. that beta wood. Alright.
What level is this thing? 41? No, we're good. We are beyond good for that. And the zombie there is 30. We're going to just avoid those guys altogether. It is a shame, because we have an amazing dinosaur out there, or we did, but, you know, it's just a question on whether or not we can get the stuff for it. And ideally, realistically, there ain't a whole lot we can do about that right now. Oh, we just got notified by Mikey that our stream's gone live. Good old Mikey. Could you imagine if something like that size got into the base? That would be way problematic. Spectral, nope, 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 nope. Those need to stay all the way over there. Those need to stay all the way over there. Alright, so let's see, is there any food on us? Yeah, a little bit, not much. And I'm trying to figure out what happened to my firearm. So we're going to have to figure that out before we can really, uh, really give it a go. And that, that's, that's a beta, that's a beta mythical egg. That's a mythical. It's a beta. Okay, now hold up, because I was pretty sure, mythical egg, yeah, mythical soul, medjo berries, it says we don't have the mythical egg, so, so, this is, this is not true, so let's grab this mythical egg, and see what else we can get, you know, because that's going to be important. Because when that happens, it's, you know, it's important that we get to that stuff, right? So the question is... Where is it all going? So let's grab this and see if it does the same thing. See? Oh, is it, does it take more than one mythical egg? No, it only takes one mythical egg. A nature egg. A nightmare egg. Does it, does it say ultimate mythical egg? Oh, wait a second. Alpha mythical egg. Oh, cause, so beta? Beta mythical egg counts as its own little thing. Is that what is that what I'm seeing here? So does that not That's so weird. So does it is there like more than one? So beta nightmare egg, beta mythical egg, alpha mythical kibble. So that takes raw prime meat and long grass. So we need long grass and the prime meat. So we might be able to pull that off though, uh, reward menu. So let's pull this up here. Let's go resources. No. Packs, tame pack. All right, so we can, oh, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of meat there. That's a lot of meat. Huh.
Okay, so... But... Can we find the long grass? Is it anywhere in here? So these are all the mushrooms. These are all the saddle packs. These are all the dinos you can get. So... Looks like no. So we wouldn't be able to do that either. Okay. Alright, so... So, long story short, it looks like... Um... Yeah, it's it's unfortunate, but that that we don't ever see any of the crops in there. Yeah, the the crops aren't there. I, I believe that was intentional to force people to hunt and gather. And to get seeds, because you can get seeds while exploring and stuff. Just uh, kind of bested by my own designs. All right, so long story short now, we do have crop plots, so once we do get things growing, we should be good. It's just a matter of, oh, it's a matter of me actually finding the rifle again, because that's what we were, that's what we were doing before this all kind of started. Oh, there's my rifle. Hey, found it. Okay, so we got the rifle, so let's go ahead and put the rifle there. And put some soul traps there. And put this over here. And we're just going to say 100, and we're going to target this, and it's going to grab everything we can and find out what we can get. Actually, after that, I think we can actually go over here downstairs to the Omega and see if there's any sensitives we can make with Omega. And you know what I really need to do? However encumbered am I when I do this? Oh, only that much? Alright, so let's see here. Metal... Just put all the metal over there. Alright, that's not too bad. Because I'm really getting tired of like running back and forth. So. Uh, we can still not move. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. And like drop twenty eight pounds, there we go. Actually, you know what? Can we make vaults yet? We can. I bet we have enough materials for it too. Start putting our vault storage up here. Because they store like a lot, right? That we want to at the moment. That's fine. So vault. Drop everything there. And anything that's a structure, we're just going to drop right in this vault because we have been, we have been just building and building and building structures. And I know how I get 
people who have viewed this channel for oodles and oodles of time know exactly how I get to. I start putting things in just the most craziest spots. And I am absolutely in that moment where I need to stop that. I need to have a minor amount of storage sorting so we can start um, at the very least, if any of this is extra and extraneous, we need to be able to build it down and tear it down and go from there. So, um, boom, that's like nothing. Okay, cool. So we can pick this up. And structure, 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 structure. Structure, okay. And question is, can we make a second vault? And the answer is yes, absolutely. We can make it a second vault, okay. Second vault. And you're going to be all of these material things that aren't tools and not edible and not cookable technically all right so that cool and then we'll just drop all the rest of these into the smithy so we can have some kind of level of just like sorted mess Just wondering why you're not using the Omni tool to transfer stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm so far out of practice with using stuff like that. Uh, mainly because of the uh, the epic rag with Mag Server. That I think it's just it's just become no longer second nature for me to use that tool. To be honest. Yeah, it's just one of those things, you know, once, once you don't have the niceties of uh, some of the, just the, the really, there's no way it's going to move, right? Yeah. So let's just move all this crystal back. That still didn't do it. Okay, how bad is it? All this salt. So, yeah, that's another thing that happened is I had a gotcha come over to my base off stream and it was just dropping crystals everywhere everywhere I mean just everywhere uh, silk sand uh, I'm just insane amounts of stuff And you know what, I'm, I'm to the point to where my, my brain lets me do sorting for just so long. And it says, nope, you're done, Mag. And we are at that level already. To where we are, nope, I'm, we're done, Mag. All right, so. All right. And there's still all of this left. But you know what, it can stay there. That was like some good intentions to have things in case I got wiped or something. But yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So, all right, um, that's what we're looking for is, we, this all started because I was looking for sedatives. All right, so sedatives, all right, Ingram basic sedative, and then Ingram godlike sedative, and looks like we need to lend some more sedatives. Interesting how the sedatives don't require the tears to learn. I, that is 
definitely a unique thing here. Um, huh. Four times... Uh, eight times. So, I think we're going to do the eight times sedative. Yeah, I just transferred my gun. Uh, did I? Because it looks like it's still here. I was... That, I, I, you think they, I think you may be thinking of the shotgun. Alpha knockout darts. Yeah, yeah, the shotgun I'm not too worried about at the moment. Do, 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 do. We do need to make some more ammo though. Um, do, 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 do. Ammo. We need gunpowder. Oh, okay. Well, gunpowder is easy enough to make. Uh, we need 100 gunpowder. Inventory require contains everything. All right, cool. Ammo. Now we just gotta wait for all the all the gunpowder to craft. Hmm. On the bright side, we already have six bullets, so Because we only have ten of the of the right. I hold up. It's because it's it's because it's an active crafting station. Have I tried the boomerang yet? No. Um, so one of the things that's not really all keen on this is the um, the special stuff, right? I, I'm trying to not go totally off the rails with it for the moment. Uh, I'm sure it will do a lot of really awesome things once we get to it. But for one, and this is kind of a, a personal complaint, I guess. Like, you say the boomerang, right? I'm like, cool, there's a boomerang. And then, okay, this one actually has the word boomerang in it. So a, a lot of these other items, like malice, and fortune and all those are just like what uh, elemental uh, huh huh that's kind of interesting but it's not oh wow that's kind of neat too but it, it doesn't do like the torpor that I'd be looking for Okay, so that would be kind of like my reason for grabbing a boomerang. But I guess, you know, if you can do the random stuff, the random stuff helps. Alright, so we're going to put this here. We're going to load that there. So we have that. We now have, we now have something that we could probably knock something unconscious with. I don't remember what this was. An ultimate? Okay, I don't think we actually take out ultimate with alpha, because I think ultimate's like way up the food chain. My goodness. And that's not really anything in particular we need. You know what we probably do need to do though? We probably do need to get some like egg generation going, right? Oh, 
Oh. Well, well. Does different attacks. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's not a bad attack weapon. Um, but I I am, you know, I'm, I'm a lot more non-aggressive with these kind of mods. Especially when I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be able to, like this thing, right? What is this? A uh, Phoenix Brontosaurus, level three. Oh wait, what's this? A Beta Rare Rage Egg. See, it makes sense for our luck that the first thing we come across, a beta cloner. Beta cloner, breeding dino, ice storm prime. So a phoenix. Well, that that is something that's dead, quite dead, and I don't know what it was. But that's okay. We are we are jumping because we got spooked. So, um, so now we're in the safety of our base. We're going to look up Phoenix under uh, where is it? Variants, right? I want to say it's also mythical. Yeah, mythical. So, but hold up, though. I think that's just regular old, regular old kibble though, right? Because it didn't have like any, huh? Basic. I think we actually have enough to do this if we get some raw meat, which we do have some raw meat. Um, so let's just, let's just grab one. I think we can get this thing. All right, the question is, oh man, did I grab the kibble? Yes, I did, okay. Taming mythical creatures, all right. A wild male phoenix brontosaurus. So this is just a regular old mythic. Okay, so. So it's a beta mythic, which means we need to go to the beta tree. All right, so the question is at this point, if we shoot this thing, Is it down? All right, it's down now. Okay. So there shouldn't be anything trying to kill it over here. So let's give it this kibble. A 
What's this? A beta wood parasaur egg. So my understanding is when this thing gets hungry, we should have us a Phoenix Dino. I mean, this is a kibble. This thing's level three. We have the tame setting set to be fun, but not insane. So a level three should should tame off of one piece of kibble, right? Good, yeah. So it's just a question of its food dropping faster than its torpor. Alright, so now the question we have to ask ourselves is from a saddle perspective. This is a mythical, right? So how do these saddles work? And my understanding is the way the saddles work on on Omega is that there are actual saddles that you can get from fighting other things and in progressing through the mod itself. So they're not crafted like one would suspect. Okay, so that is a very big problem. Um, we need lots of that. Oh my gosh. So, are we going to be able to get that then? And I think the answer is no. I think we're going to have to kill this Brontosaurus. Because that was basic, and this was this. Maybe not, though. Right? Right? I mean, maybe, maybe if we do, like, ten? What to tell us we don't have? Uh, for one craft. And I, I'm willing to bet that it's... It's, um... It's a meat thing. If it's a meat thing, we can totally take care of that. We are going to have to. We are going to have to kill something though, pretty uh, pretty quick. Oh, we're dead. We, we are we are deader than dead with that oh my goodness and there's a very non-zero chance that that brontosaurus is like smushed too
Well, I knew I was way too slow on the uptake for that. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna have to respond random. And uh Yeah, we're gonna go this direction and probably die on our way to the base. So yeah, the, the companion dinos are by far, from what I've discovered at least, well, one of the more oppressive types. For for smaller, you know, smaller tribes, lower level tunes, stuff like that. And the large reason uh, for that is primarily I wonder what this feather light is most feather lights are, are non horrible meteor feather light yeah that's a non horrible one it truly is it's just if you hit it you you'll die um, I just want to take a moment to like appreciate how giant this map is, because there's there's a there's definitely a non-zero chance that we don't get to our, our body in time. Yeah, I think the worst thing that happens with the companion dinos is no matter what, I was dead. Like, if I were to kill the copy, I'm dead. If I were to be aggroed on by the copy, I'm dead. Because the way the companions work is as soon as they are aggressive or in combat with something, their companion spawns. And from what I've been able to tell so far, that just means rock golem. Like, nothing else, just rock golem. Is this a uh, another explorer note? Yep, it is. Well, if you're getting essences, that means that there are dead things around. Oh, it's a gotcha! Let's see if this thing isn't an aggressive gotcha, because we've been killed by two of those so far. Uh, nope, that's a tracker gotcha. Interesting. It's a beta. All right, can we get some berries? Well, I don't know what all that is, but it pretty much says that Mag Synchro is not getting through here either. Look, it's the double beacon of our death. Kill the companion dodo. It spawned in one of the right only donos. Fortunately, it was daytime, so you lived. Hey! It's not bad. Alright, so we're going to see... Did my corpse have anything to eat on it? It did. Alright. Alright, 
so this is this is the copy. Oh, that thing. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so we're going to. So I don't think it can actually summon while it's unconscious. So we look like we should be okay there. All right, um, I don't like eating this egg, but I feel like we have to. All right, is this thing still alive? It is still alive. So, the bigger question is now, that's a cloner, that's a moth shops, I heard the dodo. At stone. What kind of dodo are you? Just a regular little dodo. All right, nice. I'm not looking for hide people. I'm actually looking for me. What are you? An ice storm? And what what kind of ice storm are you though? A prime? Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to fight a prime. A breeding dodo. A stone lystro. Is this thing still unconscious? Like, lots of unconscious? Lots of unconscious. We like lots of unconscious. Oh, we're also dying of thirst. This is not good. Let's go drink. So the important thing to note. Is it's actually becoming day. So that's good. Alright. Alright. are you again a cloner I don't know what a cloner does I'm hoping it's not why I hope it what 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 it could be um. oh cloner don't know you, you should drop soon right Wow, this thing's got a lot of hit points. Can we headshot it? Is it being unconscious? No. Okay. We'll just we'll just do this. We need the meat. The uh, Megaloceros, that's what it is. I was, I was trying to think what that dino is that you were thinking about that that only comes up at the end of the day.
after all this, and we're not going to have enough eggs, probably. It's made this is which doesn't help. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, access inventory? Anything in the inventory? Nope. All right. But it is giving us meat, and that's what we needed. And hide. Hide's not too bad. All right. This thing got pummeled by the. Uh, hmm. That's unfortunate. We knew it did. We knew it got hit by the, by the, uh, big bad. Just didn't know how bad it got hit by the big bad. All right, kibble machine. Just to throw this on the kibble machine. Basic, mythical. Let's grab ten of those. Uh, we're missing dinosaur eggs, mythical souls. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, Well, I guess what we do at this point then is uh, we kill Sobrani. Um, huh, interesting, interesting, interesting. So we leveled up, let's go ahead and up the melee damage. So I can't do any damage to it now? Interesting. And I can't access its inventory either. So this is a problem. This is a very big problem. Because... Yeah, it's not even trolls are really going. Up. Eh, it happens, you know. What what's what gets me though, right? Is I I'm not their target. That's the that's the weird part, right? Yeah, this is this is crazy. I I don't know what's going to happen when this thing wakes up, but it's not going to be good for my base probably. Can we repair this gear at least? Or we're thinking about it? Yeah. All right. So what about these uh, pteranodon? What kind of pteranodon are you? A beta clone pteranodon. So I don't, I don't know what the clone does. So let's go. 
we definitely know that this Brawny is probably about to wreck our base. So I'm glad we have like the m, &M build here. We have the really hard candy shell and like the real kind of like crunchy center. It cannot damage metal. You could be wrong. You know, I, I don't know. With it being a phoenix, you know, I, I don't know. I uh, These are important things. But, variants. Um, cloner. Guess we'll find, yeah, yeah, um, huh, interesting, interesting, okay, so I think, uh, long term of all this, what we really need to do, though, is we need to make a preserving bin. And we need to start getting our eggs in the preserving bin. So. Actually. Can we make the generator yet? Yeah, we can. Alright. And we can make the refrigerator. Alright. So let's do generator. Let's do refrigerator. Uh, you need food as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting close to like starving, but I, I'm sh I, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, for for what it's worth, I'm gonna have to go kill a whole lot of things for the food. I think. All right, so I feel like where I need to put the generator and the fridge is right right here. So it's. Hey, let's not be stupid. Let's go grab the generator and the fridge that we crafted. Boom. Boom. Do, 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 do. Alright, and then generator. Jenny's are always good in the middle. And now we need to make some cable. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Cable. So, in plus vertical cable. And then we do outlet. Out. Let. And one of those. I've got plenty of gas actually. But I do need to get it out of the uh, right here. Probably I don't know how long it'll it'll last with the settings we have. But I'm willing to bet this long will be at least good. Um, I'm getting really, really good at like creating things and just leaving them in the crafting station. Powered, which means we no longer need all this gas, right? Good. Alright, and now we do eggs. We can't just pull all the eggs. Alright, so we're going to have to find all the eggs. That was what you make. Yeah, I guess. Um, I, I would suspect with our settings on the server, it should last um, for 
Not exactly forever, but close enough to forever that I don't have to worry about it week to week. So that's 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 kind of the goal, you know, when we build these servers like this. And pick up the storage box. Place the storage box. So any extra gas can just go in there. All right. Any eggs in here? Nope. So how long is an egg going to last in here? Uh, an egg's going to last 4,992 um, days. So, yeah, this is never going to go bad for us. Uh, so yeah, uh, actually we're gonna we're gonna take half this though because we do want to test out what we what we didn't have earlier, right? Was a way to test out the the new thing that we built. Eggs last a little bit of time, yeah, especially with our servers. Um, So when we are ready, we should be able to see how fast that spoils. So we do need to start collecting all the eggs though. All right, what's this though, Ingram Boskable. Interesting. Uh, we do need a uh, a jerky station though, huh? And we we don't need the campfire anymore because we got the grill. But what we do need is preserving bin. And industrial cooker. Are we to that point yet? We are. Ugh. Huh. Uh, yeah, that's what we were talking about the earlier earlier part of the uh, stream is the N plus um, It'll spoil the meat and if you happen to be able to Fully use the device. It'll spoil it instantly all the meat inside of it Which is a little bit on the gross side, but yeah, it, it definitely I don't know about you, but if I were to use a facility like that, it would it would definitely spoil everything for me. Uh, I would I would feel. All right, so resources advanced, I think. Yeah, metal ingot. All right, so we're going to zero that out. Five k this. Purchase. Purchase complete. Should have a lot of metal ingots. Awesome. So, cooker, and then preserve bin. All right. So the the bad thing about the preserve the cooker, right, is the cooker requires plumbing. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is, is we sort of got started on plumbing. Um, so I feel like we need plumbing from here, though. So uh, crafting. Yeah, um, I I don't disagree with that. You know, it, it's it's one of those things like, especially with some of the servers that we play on. Um, actually, let's just make these like this.
because like we have such a, a uh, accelerated I think is the best way to say it Our experience is such a, a uh, accelerated. Yeah, yeah. I, well, you know, it depends on where I'm at. It depends upon where I'm at in the progression. I will use it because it's just free experience points. It really is. And if you if you can get to it, it's it it, it will help just catapult you forward. Is this is this irrigated? Yes, this is irrigated. All right, sweet. So that's what we needed there. We are going to pick up the kibble machine because we are going to want to be able to access it a little bit easier. All right, we're going to put down the smoker and we're going to put down the kibble machine. Which says it's obstructed. Alright. I would dare say that growling we heard is a currency exchanger. So we're probably good there. Alright. Alright, so we have we have a lot of stuff good here. Alright, so alright. Well that was an N plus. The uh, kibble machine's actually the uh, Omega Arc. So kinda odd with that one. And just had a watch alarm go off to remind me that today is Sunday, which, yeah, all right, so, um, Yeah, so there's there's just you know if we're doing in plus to pull stuff though, I don't think we need to worry about that, right? I think we just just put all these over here. Omega doesn't like to be yeah. A lot of stuff doesn't want to be near other stuff, and it's okay. You know, I uh, I get it. I get it. With with the way people are wanting to make sure their mod operates, you want to make sure there's enough space. So it's like all the stuff there, so This is what I like about some of the quality of life mods though like in plus is I just told this stuff my whole inventory in and it's like no you can't stuff all this in there and that that to me is like such a good time saver all right so we're gonna grab this 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 and that and grab that might as well Have the wood in there, hide in there. It can. I mean, it, it, it's frustrating sometimes. And really, what it boils down to, from what I've noticed, is how well the mod author designs the structures of oh, gasoline that we don't need in there. 
Can't speak in the gasoline. Good with all that. Alright, cool. I guess we can make a light at this point, right? Yeah, in plus is... Whoa, okay. That looked like it was some sort of... Uh, like... I don't know. I don't even know. It looked like some sort of, like, elongated head coming out of the, yeah, something. Alright, so there's only one... So this is... So is it actually accelerating the spool timer? Is that what's going on? Yeah, so it goes from 7 hours to 2 hours. So... Can we like split stack split all? And then will this let us go one by one? No, okay. But can we go and say cooked meat? And say grab these please, thank you. And then eat. Now if we take, so to only do raw meat, all right. So that is important to know. It's only raw meat, and it does uh, definitely knock off the, the spool time by a lot. So that's good. All right. I feel like I need to fill this in with like stuff. Hmm. All right. So we know. That's that, that's that, that's this. We got all this meat in our inventory so we can eat up. And now we can actually put it in this bin. All right. Come up here to our crafting area. Our predominant crafting area. And say grab all these, craft all those. Okay. So at this point, really what we're gonna have to start doing, um, honestly, and this is kind of something that I've really thought long term was gonna be kind of cool with this, was um, we're gonna have to start progressing through the mod. Because we, you know, we have absolutely got to the point to where we're going to have to get eggs from each tier to get to the next tier. So what we're looking for is there is... There's a weapon... That does a, a lot of torpor, if I remember right. I'm looking for it. I'm not seeing it. Huh. Okay. It might be the slingshot. It might be the the new slingshot that this mod has. That gun malice, where are you at? And that actually might be super early in the game. Maybe you look at a mega workbench. Well, Omega Workbench will only show me what I know. And so I'm trying to find out what I need to learn. So... That's that. Net gun. Ethereal spear. 
Phantom, Sigil Wart Bowl, Boomstick, Egg Collector. Passively generate eggs for dinos around in that or in stasis, but will not work. Oh, well, I'm going to make one of these. Because, yes, that just sounds like it's going to be really good regardless. Because, yeah, if we go to weapons, it's only going to show me the weapons that I know. Uh, looks like the Gathering Sickle is our Omega. Okay, so structures. This thing, one of them, craft it. And then we're going to drop it. View integrated egg layers, view nearby female to integrate. So it looks like nothing. Integrate females, this will destroy it. All right. Interesting. So it looks like it actually takes the dinos and destroys them for that. But long term, we're not going to really matter about that, right? So there it is, Knockout Club. And the versatile slingshot. High damage and torpor. So we just we just really want the club. Of course, it's dark as well. Well, it's it's night out, so it's dark as night. Still bugged out, so you know it is what it is. You there, what are you? You're not anything that we want to be messing with. What are you? A siren copy of the beta variety. Man, these things are so fast. Alright, so there's some mystical, mythical whatever we needed, right? Alright, so I did hear while we were fighting that thing a dodo. What do we got? A windstorm dodo. Uh, that's not going to do us any good. this a metal dilo oh no thank you That's unfortunate. I had a way to get some spoiled meat. Uh, another metal dialo. Wait, wait, wait. No, nope. that's a metal dialo and a fire dialo. All right. Well, 
I don't know which is worse. Teleporter Dodo. Interesting. Oh, it hurts when it teleports nearby us. Alright, that's not good. We had plans to, uh, to maybe, maybe, like, tame it, but you know what? Nope. But we will take the, the essences. Well, there is our good old arc bomb tech. If it is running, you want to try to keep up. Oh, regular dodo. A regular dodo. Oh, we are so dead. And I'm willing to bet, for the sake of argument, that the scout that is completely there to save all the dinos um, killed our dodo. Note to self, I need to put like a door like right here so I can just get it out of this a lot easier. Well, if the dodo is alive, it's definitely dead now. Oh, funny. Yep. There lies Dodo. Parasaur. It's a female fire parasaur. Well, now. Well.
Oh, Turtle Club. That scout. That scout is probably going to be the worst thing for us in this whole entire stream. What we legitimately need to do, though, is make some more beds. For real. It, uh... It frustrates me that it took us this long. Hello, Dino. How are you? You are a male dodo, which, in the grand scheme of things, does absolutely no good for me. Wood and stone. Alright, so I need... I need some wood from here, if possible. Nope. Or even has scouts. <laughs> well, I think it's um, it it has to do with the storyline for. Uh, not Genesis, but the one before it, Extinction, had to do with, like, the, well, I hate to say it this way, but kind of like the, the way things are going right now, right? I mean, you look at artificial intelligence, you look at robotics, you look at what we're able to accomplish with those things, and, like, uh, Boston Dynamics, what they're able to accomplish with robotics is amazing. I mean, straight up awesome. Props to those guys. Insane. Insane what they're accomplishing. On the one hand. On the other hand, um, equally insane in the other direction what they're accomplishing. So, what they showed off last year was they had dinosaurs, or not dinosaurs, robots that could do parkour. And it was adaptive parkour, meaning it wasn't like it wasn't like it was a uh, a set course. It wasn't that the, the dinosaurs had actually dis discovered how to do a course. It was a, a a dynamic course. It was a course that they didn't know what was going to happen, and so so what they were able to accomplish with that. Oh, oh. Whoa. No. No. Not like this. Not like this. Hello, Compy. How about you and the scorpion get? To, how about you and the scorpion stay off of me? Hey, we can respawn on our base. Okay. So the first thing we're we'll do right now. Uh, true, but unless you use a scout for Savannah, it doesn't really have much of in the game. Yeah, uh, I, I think the I think the scout's actually kind of cool in the game. I mean, because you can you can actually go through and like you mentioned, you can use it for surveillance and get all my stuff back. All right, put on my put on my pants, put on my legs, put my tools back where my tools go. Um, I shouldn't be getting back all the, yeah, hmm. Yeah, the copies were, were definitely doing what the copies were built to do. Gathering tool. I'll have to look that up because, actually those are consumables, those aren't resources. So yeah, consumables you can actually, will, will come. Food will actually come, so that's not too bad. 
but like all the rock, all the wood, all attached. That wasn't supposed to go with this, so that's good. Elemental egg. Interesting. I grabbed one of those and hadn't realized it apparently. Okay. Personally, on the one hand, that's an Omega Stone. Okay. What's this? A uh, female wood. Interesting. Still on my way to get just a regular dino. Are you a regular dodo? A windstorm dodo. And eh, nope. All right. We're just looking for a regular old female dodo. Oh no. Well. So we killed that thing. So the next thing we gotta figure out is this thing, right? Oh, hey, we got them both. Thanks for the GGs. That was actually a uh, pretty, uh, pretty hard GG there to get. So, a female Earth Pteranodon. This one's a zombie. I don't know what zombie means. And honestly, if I can avoid it, I'm going to do just that. Siren. Alright, so that's an alpha. So in the past, we've been able to kill the, al the uh, not the alphas, but the sirens pretty easily. Like, siren things, their big thing is just stay away from their, their siren song. And you do pretty good, all things considered. And the fact that this thing's bright neon green? Whoa! What's this? That was kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, it's a female dodo. It's regular. Oh, we've been waiting for you. Have we been waiting for you? Hello. So this is the Olympian. Interesting. Interesting.
an alpha stalker and a beta tracker and now we have to figure out a food trough situation, right? If anybody thought I was going to actually carry this dodo all the way through all that, let's get back there. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. -uh. Speaking of which, terminal. We need us a soul terminal. Saga begins. Soul gun is nice. Uh, yeah, I'm not using the soul gun, but it does it does make life a little bit easier. A knockback feather light, and then you are a Gorgon Pelagorni. Earth. So there's all these things here. Uh, vampire Parasaur, we are, we are, we are going to respect the snot out of that. So these things run a little fast. Not too bad. Nightmare souls. All right. That's kind of what we have to do in this, from what I'm gathering, is the, the souls and the essences are really necessary for making all the kibble and constructing all the items and stuff. Wind Lystro. That's not anything we want to fight, really. So we're going to avoid that like we have a choice. Yep, it's still not losing hit points. It's a shame because, I mean, I really would have loved to have tamed that thing. So let's go in here now, because it looks like I can actually use this now. So let's, so check, all right, sit, use, refresh, get off the toilet, and then all spoiled meat. All right, and if you flush it, you get fertilizer added into your inventory. So this is actually, this is actually your solution. It's, it's not a bad solution. It, it definitely it definitely kind of offsets some stuff. It's interesting. Alright. So we need to build a, ter a terminal. Crafting terminal. One. Was it snapping the things? It looked like it was trying to snap the things. How interesting.
Wait, what? I have no clue what that was all about. I'm I'm really confused and perplexed at this point. It gives you that with the Omega mod. Yeah, but... But what's... what's Drag body, goggle snapping... That's weird that it's got an Ingram there. Huh. So this should um, start laying eggs at some point my understanding at least this thing here choose new bray female to integrate close collect arc omega eggs from the ground preventing them from spoiling might be its whole terminal then as well I, I it's a good question I don't know um, in fact I kept popping it out it was just really weird and that's, that's definitely a new one on me. But we have the terminal, we have the soul, we have the dodo. We we are we are not going to complain as much as we could. Alright, so drop that, drop that. don't know how much that makes but it says it makes it. it says it counts as metal okay interesting so it just counts as raw metal it's just a different nah. I hate I hate I hate I hate mods that do that it it I get it I get it on the one hand cool right it does something cool it does something neat um, who are we who are we to like you know bash on that um, but on the other hand did it really have to be called that I just I don't really think it did all right so now we have some fertilizer for when we actually get some seeds I think we need those all right, so we need to go find more dodos if we can. That's that's the goal at this point, is to find more dodos if we can. And then tame them, because we need the eggs. Because as best as I can tell, because with a dodo, right? With a dodo, the kibble is, is the medjo berry. Oh, you're called ultimate. I don't know what stalker means. We're probably going to die finding out. Be 
you can just have terminal lay eggs without them at all, just not fertilized. Yes, that's that's the whole goal of it. Uh, we have the terminal set up for that, so. Okay, I am, I am not the best shot. Yeah, well, it's a, uh, it's an I and I setting to let the terminal do that. Less of my track. I wish I knew what was up with this AI running away like that, and then turning around and deciding that it needs to stand and deliver. Because it really shouldn't be working like that. It should be like, I'm gonna die, and then be like, alright, we're, we're, we're getting out of here. So many hits, so many hits. Oh, whoa, was not expecting that. Okay, was not expecting that at all. Creates a false sense of security the more you closer. Exactly, exactly. All right, so what are we dealing with there? Variants, nightmare, stalker. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's unfortunate. It says that it cloaks itself. And that hit us pretty hard. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That hit us really hard. I just realized it was super dark all of a sudden, guys. I know you guys have a hard time seeing because my. My gamma for me is good, but for everybody at home it's not. Actually, can we turn that down to gamma 4? Yeah, I think gamma 4 you guys will still be able to see what's going on.
use camera for you need to works for your stream as well yeah yeah it, it, uh, I, usually I'm on gamma 3 but I know some people have complained that it's been too dark so you still have to run on gamma 5 but this this map seems to be light like more than others so well hello a brutal trilobite just how brutal's brutal. Is this thing going to dagger on me? That's what I thought. I love how some variants are like, yeah, we're brutal. It's like, brutal what? It's a brutal pincushion. Man, these things have so many hit points. You have the how to go higher. Alright, well, that's good. Spiritual female 46. Something to think about. Metal Bronto, female, regular female. Hmm. So let's let's think this through. So variants. Is that going to be? Uh, is that going to be resource? Yeah, it's going to be resource. So we go. We go look at what resource kibble takes. Because it's a female, right? That's a standard tier female. So if we could get like six of its kibble. No, we don't even have enough eggs for that though. Male beta shield dodo. Female crafting dodo, all right. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Is this regular dodo? Regular, regular dodo. All right. This is mainly for the prime essence and the soul. I mean, being able to kill dodos for these things is very helpful. And this is mainly for the meat and the hide. And for making me feel pretty good about still being able to kill a dodo and not have to like fight tooth and nail for it. So we still just need regular eggs. I mean, that's really the crux of it. Go ahead and get her close back on. Ooh, there's a whole passel of dodos here though. What do we got? Male. Female. Hey, here we go. You there. Hold these medjo berries for a while. What are you? You're a female also. All right, so we're going to split these Maggio Berries. What 
are you? A female wood dodo, which means you are not going to do anything for me at the moment. And you are a male astral dodo. what that was it shot that but I definitely don't want to be on the receiving end of it how are you doing are you eating about as fast as I need you to eat you are but not really all that much faster all right so we need we need narco berries quickly need narco berries What's more with filling? All right, so we got those two dodos. Too bad. Wood, thatch, sap. Ah, that source of sap. Interesting. So if we do this. Interesting. Alright. Do I have anything to eat on me? Yes. Several things, really. Alright. Turtle Club, we got about another 45 minutes left on this stream, give or take. Oh, there's a Lystro. And another Dodo. Is it female? Nope, it's male. Maestro. Oh, that's a beta tornado. We're not going to do anything with a tornado anything. That stalker looks like it's still damaged, so let's uh, be stupid, I guess.
Oh, you dropped your weapon. That's not what we wanted to see. And it's absolutely not what we wanted to hear either. Oh, we are being ganged up on. We are being ganged up on. Oh, that's a cloner. Oh my goodness. Oh, we killed it. All right. coming where are you coming from alright we'll definitely uh, we'll definitely take those wins what's this controller female so a rage essence as well, interesting. So we need like a metal door here. Guess realistically we need it like right here. And some more on the other area. All right, so in the door, out the door. That there, that there. All right, so hold this here. Options. Automation. Uh, so unfertilized egg collection, passive generation. So far, that's all we really want. And then, uh, yeah, that's what we forgot to do. All right, so all the food goes in here, all the berries we pull back out, all the narco berries we pull back out. Ooh, narco seeds. That's what we're looking for, peoples. Three narco seeds to start with. And then we need fertilizer. over drop that all right and step technically is one of those looking good there so So I've not used the dinosaur torch in a long time. Uh, two things come to mind. One, this is saying two out of 300 slots, and we're clearly using three slots. It's 
negative one slot, so that, that's 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 concerning. Gonna have to talk to Lethal about that and see what they're saying about it. fertilizer we can just shove in one of these plots now that should be fruiting and we'll see what happens with that all right This thing's probably going to be still asleep when it's time for the uh, surgery set. Interesting. It's made out of wood. That thing is scary. Fuck, dude, you should have a second fertilizer from before. I I do. I, I just don't see a need to fertilize two plots at the moment since I'm testing how how uh, one fertilizer does in one plot. Because I don't know how well the settings are going to work. It's random. Knock back. Companion. We know not to mess with those. Hey, it's a Jerboa of some sort. This is possibly going to kill me. Boy, it's fast. It's a gotcha crystal. We'll pick up the gotcha crystal. Female dodo. There we go. Male. That's a beta reflective, which doesn't do anything good. Female. Oh. Still, not bad. It's nice to have these little gotchas around. If I could uh, tame a beta tracker, it'd be great. Need a couple of those. And then you eat like a lot of those. Oh. So, if you recall, about 20, 30 minutes ago, we opted not to mess with the Parasaur, and I feel like that was probably a good choice. Yeah, I think it killed like that dodo, and it probably killed the second dodo too. 
Um, because it's aggressive and it eats people. So, lesson learned. But not taken to heart. <laughs> On the plus side, since we didn't take our corpse back, we'll have a beam telling us where all of our stuff is. Any moment now, there will be a beam. question is, is the Parasaur still around here? Yep. Oh, we have a Dodo that's tamed. We have a Dodo tamed. Okay. And that's the Parasaur right there. Oh, that one's still, uh, well now. We'll, uh, we'll get out of this thing's way. Alright, so we need... you in here. Thank you. I wasn't able to switch my weapon over fast enough. Uh, plus side, it does want to kill the dodos. Uh, not so plus side. Actually, you know, if we just respawn random location, we might actually get um... We might just get wrecked by trying to play the odds, is what might just happen. Oh my gosh. At least we didn't burn a bed cooldown. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh my gosh. It's like really really game all right this thing's about to wake up too having five like i feel pretty good about that that on the other hand i feel really bad about Do I have both dodos on this turn? Uh, do I have both dodos? This is a good question. I have a dodo. So did it eat the other dodo? Or is this the dodo I was trying to tame? This is the dodo I was trying to tame. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, hmm. like this thing just has to die at this point, right?
Whoa! Are you kidding me? Here's the first Fioma we ever seen. That's neat. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. At least we spawn nearby our, our body. Oh, wow. Wow. So close. A Starfire Fiomia. Windstorm Dodo. A female ghost. And it's not tiered other than it's ghost. All right, let's go. Yeah, we know it's gonna miss a lot. We also know that it's regular, so it didn't have much of a uh, health pool. Hey, it's a metal turtle or is it a glass turtle? Crystal turtle. Interesting. Oh, it's almost back to being alive. That thing, too, my goodness. My goodness. So why are we getting a lot of tickets? Not bad. Then we got a dodo. Hey, we got a egg. We'll take that. We are we are definitely good with eggs. That works out pretty good. That works pretty good. And let's see how our fertilizer is doing after a little bit of time. So the fertilizer is ticking down just a little bit. I like that. So that's working. That's working pretty good. It's not super fertilized like it used to be.
And we got... We do not eat. This must have a use, right? Yes, it does. It has a, an amazing use. Come on, door. Do what you gotta do. for three crafts because of the narco berries so we're, we're to the point now where we're doing pretty good with the meat acquisition and we have a and, and so it's all coming down to the the narco berries now so we have to do the gardening thing so that's that's fine we're, we're doing good there all right and we're doing all right when it comes to eggs uh, that was not what we needed to put in there. So, mythical souls. Nature souls. Anything here involving eggs? Nope. So, trophy. Ah, interesting. Well, look who's back. So, for a normal, hmm, I'm stuck. All right, we need like five. We need like five kibble. Which need, means we need more mythical. Hey, we're able to like start butchering this now. Good. There. So while that scout's over here, we definitely don't want to be messing with it, because holy skedaddles. We also don't want to mess with necromancers, because necromancers if you want to, but uh... It'll bring lots of people around that you're not expecting to fight. That's the female dodo. Oh, that's a purple crystal. Nice. Goodness, I uh, no. 
Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I, uh... I gotta admit to the club, I'm, I'm getting a little bit on the tired side here. We might actually wind up calling the stream a little bit early. Um... Wow. Of all the fights still going on, I didn't suspect that we would see this one. This is the copies that had, had caught me. It's a beta wood copy. That's another copy. Yep, and they sure keep on me. All right. I saw it. There it is. Spectral Manta. Yeah, those are problematic. All right, popcorn chicken. go.
You know, I just realized the uh, the resource dinos they're pretty bad I mean they're good for for having tame and stuff but for like progression reasons they're pretty bad because you need meat Good ol' arc be an arc. Throw a spear right through the eyeball. Alright, you there. Whoa, what in the snot? This thing has surprisingly a lot more health than they normally have. Not good. What's really not good is I'm just about out of stamina. I I don't even know. I really don't even know at the point Turtle Club. I uh, think what we're gonna do here at this point. I uh, I know I legitimately dozed off for a moment and just ran right into a rock. <laughs> so I, I think we're gonna have to call it. But we have our stuff. We have. We have an egg. We have some things. I think I think we did. We we accomplished a good a lot today, like a lot. I mean, I I feel like we accomplished more than we set out to do. So I feel good about that. I want to say thank you, Macadoo, for hanging out in the Lurk Squad for hanging out as well. Um, quite a number of views tonight. 
unfortunately some of those are due to malcontents in the community but you know you just gotta give them give them no voice and remove them as quickly as you can so thank you to the the lurking mod who helped with that I got ideas of who you are so thank you for that um, ah, neat can't destroy it I'm gonna have myself a good night I'm, I'm probably gonna crawl right into bed guys um, yeah, thank you, thank you, Mackadoo. Uh, everyone out there in Turtle Land, <laughs> Turtle Land, the Turtle Club, have yourself a good breakfast, a good lunch, a good dinner. Uh, whatever you have to do, Turtle Club, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Thanks for watching, and take care, all.